Hello, Bel Air Edison family. Hello, hello, hello. Today I'm back with another video and you guys are going to be learning how to solve word problems up to nine. But before we start our um, word problems, let's review number nine on our 10 frame. Okay. I'm going to put a dot in my 10 frame and I want you to count. This is This is, 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 and this is, very good. We are up to the number nine. Let's count all together. One, two, three, four, five, oops, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Hooray! Now I want you guys to show me nine fingers. Can you do it? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine hooray we have nine fingers all right so boys and girls let's read our word problems that are right behind me and try to solve them together okay i'm gonna read and i want you to follow ava has three lollipops and six gummy bears how much candy does she have in all hmm so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to think about how many of everything was said, okay? It says Ava has three lollipops. That's an important number, so I'm going to circle that. Three lollipops. And she has how many gummy bears? Hmm. Six. That's right. Question says, how much candy does she have in all? That means together. So if she has three lollipops hmm I'm going to put that am I gonna put that in the whole no I'm gonna put that in the part she has three lollipops and how many gummy bears does she have she has six gummy bears so is that gonna go in the hole no that's not gonna go in a hole that's going to go in the other part. So we have six gummy bears. Now, how much does she have in all? How much candy does she have in all? Hmm. Let's count. I know that she has... Let's see. Let's use our 10 frame so that it helps us, okay? I know that she has... How many lollipops? Let's see. It says three, so let's put three. One, two, three. But then it says how many guy bears does she have? Six. That's right. So let's put that there. One, two, three, four, five, six. Whoa. So how much candy does she have in all? Let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. She has nine candy in all. So let's finish our number bond. We have three and six. It makes nine. So let's put that right there in our hole. Nine. So let's finish our addition sentence now. We had how much lollipops? How many lollipops did she have first? She had one, two, three. So I'm going to put that number first because I know she has three lollipops there. So how many um, gummy bears did she have then? She had six gummy bears. So we're going to put that right there. Remember, one, two, three, four, five, six. And when you put that together, we said 
3 and 6 makes 9. Perfect. Good job. I want you guys to give yourself a kiss on your forehead. Kiss your brain. Awesome. Let's move on to the next problem, okay? I'm going to read it, and I want you to follow along with me. Ready? Good. Osiris has five Beyblades that are blue and four green Beyblades. How much does he have in all? So he has five Beyblades that are blue, so five blue Beyblades, and four green Beyblades. So how much, how many does he have in all? Let's see, okay? So we have numbers here that we have to circle just like we did in our first problem. How many Beyblades did he have that were blue? I want you to think for a second. How many Beyblades did he have that were blue? Okay, let's see. He had five, very good. And how many green Beyblades did he have? He had how many? Four, that's right, he had four. So how many does he have in all? How many Beyblades does Osiris have all together? Hmm, let's use our 10 frame to help us out. But, but first, first, let's um, try to fill in our number bond, okay? So our number bond, what number do you think belongs there? Which number do you think belongs there? That's right. He has five blade blades that are blue, so we're going to put that there. And what number, where do you think the four belongs? It belongs right here, right? No, it doesn't belong there. It belongs right here because that's how many he has that are green, okay? And what number are we going to put right here? Oh, let's see. Let's use our 10 frame to help us out. We have to figure out how many he has all together. Okay, so that's what we're going to do. We're going to figure out how many he has all together. Okay, so I'm going to use the colors so that they work. Okay, how many Beyblades did he have that were blue again? He had five. So let's do that. One, two, three, four. Five. Very good. And how many Beyblades did he have that were green? He had four. That's great. Good job. One, two, three, four. So that means how many Beyblades did he have all together? Let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. He had nine. So we know what number we have to put in our hole. That's right. What number is it? Nine. Okay, so he had nine blade blades all together. Good job. So let's finish our number sentence now. Now that we have our number bond, we can do our number sentence. What number do you think belongs right here? I'll give you a clue. It's the first number that we sampled. Yes, it's the number five, because he has five blue blade blades. And what number do you think goes right here? It's the second number that we circled. That's right, it's the number four. And all together, which is the whole, how many did he have? How many blade blades did he have in all? That is correct. If you said nine, give yourself a pat on your back because you're all that. Good job. You guys did a fantastic job today. I just want to review the two ways that we found the number nine. How can we make the number nine? We, ma we made the number nine in two different ways. Can you tell a friend? Yes. Okay, good job. So we know that three and six make nine. Three and six is the same as nine. Good job. And how else can we make the number nine? That's right, five and four make nine. Five and four is the same as nine. Awesome job. 
Well, that's all the time we have today. You guys have learned how to make the number nine. I want you guys to go to your package, um, your packet for week five, and go to page number 13, okay? There you'll find some more practice work for the number nine. All right, see you guys.